Hello, it's Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Socket.io server in Java. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to open up your favorite code editor and make a new project. And the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to the pom.xml file and we're going to add a dependencies tag. And the library that we're going to be using for this is called the Netty Socket.io library. And it's an open source library that is created by the community, which is compatible with any Socket.io clients. And it's based on top of the Netty server framework in Java. So we could just put the dependency into our dependencies and refresh. And the first thing we're going to do is to create a new Java class called socket IO message. And what this class is going to do is it's basically just going to have all of the fields in our message. Because our message is in JSON format, it's going to be automatically parsed into this Java object. And this parsing is going to be done completely by the Netty socket IO library. So all you have to do is to make variables with all of the fields that we want. So you could go private string message, and we can add a constructor and add our getters and setters. So the next thing you want to do is to make a new class called socket IO module. And the first thing you want to do is to make a private variable that holds a socket IO server. And now we want to make our constructor with this field. And now what we're going to do is to make our listeners. And these listeners are basically just methods in this class that we'll bind to later. And it basically allows you to run custom code when a socket IO event is triggered. So the first thing we're going to implement is our send message event. So to do this, we could just go private data listener socket IO message, send message. And this is going to return a data listener with client data and accenter. And we are just going to basically print the message to the console. So we could go system dot out dot print line got message data dot get message. And the next listener that we want to implement is a connection listener. And this listener is run when a new client joins. So we could just go private connect listener on connected and we're going to return client and we're just going to print new connection and the next listener we want to implement is a disconnect listener and this will be run when a client disconnects from the server so you can just go private disconnect listener on disconnected and we're going to return a client and we're going to go system dot out dot print line disconnected. And the next method we're going to implement is a method to start the server. So you can just go public void start server dot start and public void stop server dot stop. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our main class and we're going to go configuration config equals new configuration config dot set host name local host config dot set port 8080 socket io server equals new socket io server config and socket io module equals new socket io module server and we could go module dot start so the last thing we're going to do is to bind our methods to the listeners so we could just go server dot add connect listener on connected and we could also go server dot add disconnect listener on disconnected and we can go server dot add event listener and for the event name I'm going to say send message socket IO message dot class and this dot send message and now I can test it. So I'm going to be using this online socket IO tester from PyHost but you can use any Socket.io client. So I just input my port, connect, and you can see that it says new connection. And we could send messages by going send message and going message hi. We can go and see that it says got message. And now I can disconnect and we can see that it disconnected. 
So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'm Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and I'll see you next time. Bye.